up guys, it's Kirsty. Now, 2016 may well have been a complete crapper, but there were still a few things that I fair enjoyed. So with the help of my best friend, the internet, I googled favourite type question category things and now I'm gonna answer them. Let's go! Your favourite new beauty product. Okay, I'm gonna go off instinct here. There are probably hundreds of things that I will think of afterwards. But for now, my favourite new, it's not really a product, it's more of a beauty purchase, um, but it's a foundation brush. Said foundation brush is this one, this is a Real Techniques Expert face brush and it is glorious. I love it. Favourite new skincare product, that would be, what, are your lips part of your skin? Your lips are part of your skin, there's skin on them, same thing. So therefore, my favourite new beauty product would be my Nug Beauty Lip Mask. It comes in a wee gold ball and you screw the top off and it's just half full and it's just, it's basically the same concept as a face mask except for your lips. You just take a layer of it on your finger, spread it on your lips, leave it on for 20 minutes I believe and then when you rub it off it kind of plumps your lips a little bit but the main thing that it does is it nourishes, it moisturises and it also brings out the natural colour of your lips so even if you wear something clear you're still going to have a nice colour. So it's very useful, I like this. Favourite palette of 2016? Oh! After much consideration I think my favourite palette is actually going to be a more recent purchase and it was from iHeart Makeup and that is my iHeart Makeup Chocolate Bar Chocolate Vice palette. That was a lot to say in one sentence. The I Heart Chocolate Vice looks like this and the inside looks like this and um, it's great. I love it. I've used it quite a lot. I only got it, when did I get that? November? Must have been November. October, November, something of that nature. But I've pretty much had this on my eyes every single day in some way, shape or form, whether I've done my whole eye makeup from it or just bits and pieces. So it, it, it's a well qualified, that makes no sense. It deserves the spot of being my favourite is what I'm trying to say. Oh good god, they just keep getting more difficult. What is your favourite lipstick of 2016? I'm going to have to get the bloody lip box out, ain't I? I won't show you everything that's in this because I was actually planning on doing a lip collection kind of thing video. Um, so I'll just pick out, can I do categories? I'm going to do categories. I'll pick favourites from categories. Oh, My favourite lip crayon lipstick is this one from Ghost. It's called Blush Lip Crayon and it's just this nice pale pink. I won't wear this on its own, it's just a nice base for some other lipsticks or liquid lipsticks that I'll put on. So yeah. Favourite liquid lipstick has been this one from Maybelline. It's one of the Vivid Matte Liquid Lipsticks and this is in the colour Nude Thrill. And am I wearing, no I'm not wearing this one right now, my bad. I have wore this numerous times in videos recently. Um, it's just a really nice consistency. It doesn't dry your lips like most matte lipsticks do and most liquid lipsticks do in fact. So I like that one. I'm not good at talking about these things. I like the consistency, I like the colour, I like how it feels on my lips. It doesn't dry them. Have I covered everything? Yes, good. My favourite coral is strangely enough not my naked coral lipstick from Tom Ford it's actually another Tom Ford lipstick called Misbehaved it's a slightly more muted pink it's a little bit lighter I will get it out of the box so you can see what I mean doing this one-handed is difficult so it's a little bit lighter than your naked coral but it's still an absolutely beautiful pink I think I wore this in my first video of this year actually so if you want to see what it looks like on the lips go take a look just like all the Tom Ford lipsticks it has a beautiful formula it feels like you're putting a balm on your lips it doesn't feel like you're wearing a lipstick at all favorite plum don't even need to question my beloved new Charlotte Tilbury Glastonbury good lord it is gorgeous any plum lipstick that I wore in any of my videos from say September onwards was this anyone. Favourite nude? Eh. My favourite complete nude lipstick and not a kind of pinky toned nude, like pure nude, is the only MAC lipstick that I own and it's a trusty favourite of many people I believe and that is Velvet Teddy. It's actually very nice but to be honest I haven't worn it much. I've favoured the kind of pink toned ones but I still love it. I would still say it's my favourite nude overall. 
Um, this is one of the ones that I would choose to put on a pale lip crayon underneath it though because it just dries your lips ridiculously. These are all like the beauty ones at the start. This is kind of cool. Your favourite shampoo and conditioner of 2016. That's an odd one. Um, honestly my favourite would probably be the Aussie... It's not volume and body, that's Tresemme. What is it called? Volume, it's just Aussie volume. Uh, the conditioner and shampoo. I love them. They're very good for your hair and they smell very nice. Okay, it seems we're moving on to more real life questions. Um, favourite experience of 2016? Well, there was quite a few. How do you pick one? How do you do that? I have to say there's something about flying head first down a zoom line on Fremont Street in Vegas that just makes it memorable. I don't know what it could be. That was really cool though. I honestly didn't think I would do it. I swore a lot. Overall though, that seems to be the most memorable that's kind of jumping out at me. But then there's also some amazing things with Camp America and that as well. And all the people that I met and my campers that I miss so, so, so freaking much. Um, so yeah, like that's, that's just one of many. One of many favourite experiences. Favourite achievement? Eesh. I passed all my exams uh, with really good grades and earned my degree. I was hired by Adirondack Camp. I got hired to be the video blogger for Camp America last year. I, what else did I do? I travelled by myself despite all the obstacles that appeared for me while doing that. I learned to cook more. I met loads of new people. I made loads of new friends. I developed my skills. I made entirely new skills. Made entirely new skills? Learned entirely new skills. Um, but the one thing that seems to hit home for me the most is when we hit 1,000 subscribers. That was... That was a really good day. I honestly can't believe that that happened. It happened so quickly and it happened out of nowhere and then it's just kept going up. Like, we were... were what are we now? Right now, we're over 1,700. That is insane! How is this a thing? I'm such an idiot! Why? 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 We're like closing in on 2K! Why? Favourite choice you made in 2016? Towards the end of last year, I stopped using my phone as much, um, which was actually quite easy considering I was away for so long and had no ability to use my phone and then my phone was suddenly stolen. So um, I didn't have a phone for quite a long time and it doesn't bother me so much now. I've typically only been using my phone as an alarm and it means that I only really pick it up to turn my alarm off in the morning and then it goes into my drawer and then it comes out the drawer at night when I'm ready to set my alarm when I'm kind of in my room. Um, so that's quite cool. I enjoy it. Oh, another thing I've actually done on my phone recently as well is I've removed a lot of my social media from my phone because I found that it became very, very demanding and I was very, very aware of it constantly. So I no longer have Facebook, Twitter or Tumblr on my phone. I only have Snapchat because you can't get that on a Mac or a laptop or anything like that. Um, Instagram you can, but because my phone is my main function of taking photos, it seems right to have that still on there. Um, and I'm possibly going to have to re-download Messenger and keep that on my phone because I may need it to contact people for uni. But at the minute, I don't have it, I don't need it, and I don't feel like I miss it. Um, it's nice, the separations... I like it. It's new. Oh, this is the juicy stuff. Favourite actor of 2016. Damien Lewis. Hello, sir. Is it just me or is it just... Does it get really warm in here? Is that, is that just me? I started watching a lot of things with him in it last year and it just completely grew on me and then I watched a lot of at-length interviews that he gave and I just love his entire philosophy. I love how he approaches the creative process of acting and how he looks at it as an art form. Um, I really appreciate everything that he puts into what he does. Very much idolise him and respect him for many things. <laughs> Favourite actress of 2016? That has to probably go to the actress whose performance drew me in so quickly. Um, although I have admired a lot of actresses this year and watched a lot of their work and loved a lot of their work and loved a lot of their movies and TV shows and the likes, this one has to go to Claire Danes because my god, I have never been so drawn in 
to a TV show by a performance of a single actor in my puff. She is phenomenal. She can cry like no one else, man. Favourite movie? It's not that simple. There's stuff in genres and... I loved um, Heaven is for Real. I hadn't seen that until last year. Uh, my sister got me that for Christmas. Um, I also hadn't seen Love Rosie until last year. Great movie, loved that. Uh, X-Men Apocalypse, yes! I really liked Me Before You and all my horror movie favourites, but I have to stay true to my love of Tom Hanks because my favourite movie of last year was probably Sully. Normally I love biopics, so I had a really high, I had a really high hopes, I had high hopes for the movie and they didn't disappoint, which I was very happy to find out. It was really interesting to see a whole new side of a really popular news story, something that the whole world knew about, but didn't actually know enough of what was going on. It was very interesting. Favourite TV show of 2016? I watched many TV shows last year, I continued many TV shows last year, and some of them were entirely new. So I would like to give some honourable mentions and they will go to... Deep Breath, iZombie, Black Mirror, uh, Rain, uh, Making a Murderer, uh, The Walking Dead, Westworld, which actually I, funny story, I watched the last episode of the season, um, really really liked it, was really interested, but had no freaking clue what was going on, so I then had to go back and watch the entire series, and it was fantastic. But of course my fave had to be Homeland, that's where my ridiculous love and passion for Damien Lewis and Claire Danes came from. Um, they're both fantastic, the show is fantastic, it draws you in in ways that you didn't think you would be interested in. Like I found myself really intrigued by things that I've never really liked before in other shows and movies, which is strange. I don't know if that says a lot about the writing of the scripts or their performance in general, but it just does a very very good job at exploring very very difficult situations and topics. So. Well done, Homeland. Favourite Netflix original? Oh my god, I am so excited that is a thing. There have been so many uh, Netflix original movies, TV shows and documentaries that have been developed and produced and are still in production um, just over the last year, which is insane. It just kind of shows you how like an independent body can have so much power, I guess? Fantastic work, Netflix. But um, same kind of idea, honourable mentions go to Shadowhunters and of course Stranger Things, but I'm gonna have to go with my gut and say Scream because it appeals to me as a horror movie lover, um, it appeals to me as a person who likes to get to know characters and it took what was considered impossible and made it possible and made it great. So yeah, Scream still wins for me. Ooh, favourite YouTube video you've watched? That is impossible to decide. I can't. Content is constantly changing, constantly evolving, and constantly uploading. So there is no way you can pick just one video that you would love the most, or at least I can't. I have too much of a diverse interest um, to be able to pick just one, and there's so many of them that aren't comparable at all, so you couldn't even pick a favourite between two of them, let alone all of it. So, uh, no, no favourites, sorry. This is not a question on there, but I'm gonna create a question for myself based on that one. That was favourite video I've ever watched. Favourite YouTube video I've ever made. Interesting. I feel like last year I stepped out of my comfort zone a lot in terms of content and what I was putting out there. Um, the fact that I uploaded a lot of content um, just shows like a build of confidence and that I'm really happy about. Um, how relaxed I've become in my videos makes me feel really happy and I can see that, like a progression of that through my content. Uh, but picking a favourite? I'm so proud of so many videos I've made. I'm proud of myself for just being able to make them and actually having a voice to say some of the things that I've been able to say. Um, I love my Camp America videos. I love them to death. I love that whole experience to death. I also made a video called Truth. Um, that was back in May? Was it me? I believe it was me. May have been June. Could not have been June. I was away. I made it at some point early in the year. Um, that was very meaningful to me. It had a lot of gravity to it. Had a lot of personal meaning behind it. 
I like that one very much. I like making my Tinder video. That was funny. That got a great response. I think I might do that again. I might do that with another person again. I'm struggling. What? The, hang on. I'm going to pull up my channel. Things to do in a hotel room. That was so long ago. 10 months ago. My God. That was fun. It was a quick snappy video, but that was really fun. Home Alone. The things you do when you're home alone. I enjoyed that. I loved the editing or I loved editing. Uh, weird things people do. I just love the transitions of that. One of the more recent ones though, types of people at Christmas. I really enjoyed that. I like doing videos where I can play different versions of myself or different characters. And in that one I played four characters plus myself. So it took ages to film and ages to set up the lights to make it kind of match all the different clips. But yeah, I enjoyed that. Basically what I'm saying, I could sit here all day, basically what I'm saying is I enjoy all the content that I make. I'm proud of all the content that I make, otherwise I wouldn't make it and I wouldn't upload it. So, that was a very long-winded question. Can we move on now, please? Favourite book? This one's easy. Um, it's no secret to anyone who follows any of my social medias or knows me personally that I am having a lot of trouble sleeping right now. And for Christmas, I was given a book that I'm gonna go and retrieve. I'll be back in a second. It's appropriately called Sleep 50 Mindfulness and Relaxation Exercises for a Restful Night and it is written by Dr. Arlene K. Unger. Really, it's just tips varying from uh, things you eat and drink to visualisation that help you sleep and help you relax and it's been very useful. I have another one actually that's called Calm and it's 50 exercises to get calm. So I need to sleep and I need to calm down. Uh, noted. Okay, these are all like long descriptive questions. I'm gonna like quick fire a few of them just so that I can get through more. Uh, favorite color, how blue? Favorite fruit, avocado. Is avocado fruit? I think it's a fruit, it's not a vegetable. It's a fruit. It's a fruit for me. Favorite vegetable, parsnip. Favorite candy, the blue Jolly Ranchers. Favorite website, YouTube, hello. Interesting one, favorite artist, Vladimir. Kush. If you have not heard of him and have not seen his work, please, please Google him right freaking now after you've watched this video though. Favourite number! 5,318,008. Do you want to know why? Because when you type that into a calculator and turn it upside down it says boobies! Maturity, ladies and gentlemen. Be jealous. Favourite technological device? My laptop. Favourite app? Afterlight. There's literally hundreds more. How is this a thing? I would love to do more of these, but I feel like I have talked far too long about myself. So please indulge me. Tell me in the comments some of your favourite things from last year. But other than that, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a big one of these, leave one of those, click subscribe. Much love you guys, and I shall see you all next week. Bye!